I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Does Pastor just preach the same sermon every week? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Donate. Your tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org slash giving helps us fill the ears of youth all over the world with the saving gospel of Jesus Christ. And we need that gospel in these dark times. I've had it asked me many times from young people concerning their pastor, from people concerning staff members of mine, from... Um, uh, for people asking me, do you just preach the same sermon every week? I mean, every week we hear the same thing. Jesus kept the law for us. Jesus died on the cross for all our sins. Jesus rose again from the dead. He forgives all our sins. He gives us eternal life. Is that all you got? Paul says this. 1 Corinthians 1, 22. Jews demand signs, Greeks seek wisdom, but we preach Christ and him crucified. Um, scandal to the Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles, to the Greek, but to us being saved, for those who have been called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power and the wisdom of God. And in, and in 1 Corinthians 2, Paul says, I desire to know nothing amongst you other than Jesus Christ, and him crucified. So your pastor preaches the same message every week because you need to hear the same message every week. You need to hear what God did for you because of what you do to God. You need to hear this because you have this inborn desire to save yourself, to, to rescue yourself from your sin by your, refor your reforming of your life, by your great change, or by something going on in you. You need to hear this gospel every single week because you're a sinner in need of forgiveness every single week. Also, if we're honest, it's not the same sermon every week. It's different texts proclaiming the same gospel every single week. So what you're really saying when you're saying this, that, that are you just preach, or another variation of this is all he ever does is talk about baptism. Or all he ever does is talk about grace um, and faith. All of these are the same problem where we want to get past Christ and him crucified and get to something else. And that something else is always us. It's always us. It's always us. It's our change, our improvement, the things we want to do, the things we think we need to be doing, the things that balance the scales. Now, those things are all good, but they're secondary to the primary teaching of the faith, which is repentance toward the forgiveness of sins. See, the apostles, when they're, when they're sent, they're sent to, in, John, in Luke's gospel, Luke 24, to preach repentance toward the forgiveness of sins. We preach law and gospel. Or another way of saying this is justification by grace through faith. What about sanctification and my life change? Well, that comes with justification because the fruit of justification is a holy life lived here in time and hereafter in eternity. But you don't get to hear the, the stuff about you until you've died to you and been raised from the dead in him to a new life in him forgiven. And then... Freed by that gospel, you can hear all the good stuff, which I'm sure your pastor's telling you, but you just don't hear it because you're like, oh, well, Jesus, Jesus. You know, you better hope, we all better hope, that Jesus doesn't do this on the last day. They only care about themselves. They only want to hear about themselves. So I'm going to give them the universe where they're the center of it. And there's a, and there's a name for that. Are you ready? It's called H-E-L-L, -L, hell. That's a universe where God matters second and you matter most. 
But you don't want to hear about that, do you? The rescue, the freedom from that, the escape is Christ and him crucified. And what really, the real problem behind your question is that you despise Christ and him crucified. You, it's boring to you. But in actuality, I, I find more and more every time I hear this gospel, I hear something different about it, something new. It's like, New wine and new wineskins. And this gospel changes us. This gospel enlivens us. This gospel gives us hope in the midst of suffering. You see, your life change when the rubber hits the road, when things get bad, isn't going to fix it for you. The only thing which is going to hold for certain, the only thing which is going to save you, you got it, Christ and him crucified. So what you should do is say, Pastor, I need more of that Jesus. Sir, I would see Jesus. What you don't want to do is go up to him and say, could you give us, I mean, it's the same sermon every week, Christ and crucified. Because he's if he's a smarty pants like me, he's going to ask you the question, well, what else would you like to hear? And it's going to be all you. But your pastor isn't a smarty pants like me. He's going to love you and he's going to give you more of what you need which is Christ and him crucified. Think about it. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.